Hello everyone, I'm Richard Roberts and welcome to the Expect a Miracle weekly podcast. I'm so glad you could join me today. Um, I've been praying uh, throughout the day and there's a lot that's on my heart right now and I wanted to share with you. I don't have a guest today because I have some things that are very personal that I wanna share with you today. What I've been thinking about, what I've been praying about. We are living in the end times. Make no mistake about it. Anyone who knows anything about the Bible and who knows anything about what's happening in the world knows that beyond any shadow of doubt, we are living in the end times. There is evil in the world, my friend, big time evil. And we are seeing it throughout the world, throughout America, in states, in cities, in communities. We're seeing it on a regular basis. There is evil in the world. Make no mistake about it. Satan, the Bible says, comes but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. That's John 10, 10. There is evil in this world. And that evil is causing people to do despicable things against other people. But don't forget the second part of that scripture in John 10, 10, where Jesus himself said, I have come, however, that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. I've been praying all this day about the peace of God, not the kind of peace that you get from getting in a, a hot bathtub with, uh, with bubble bath, <laughs> not, not Calgon take me away. I'm not talking about that kind of peace. <laughs> Although I sure like that kind of bath, I'm sure you do too. No, I'm talking about the kind of peace that passes all understanding. Jesus talked about saying, the peace of God, my peace, the peace of God is what I give you. There are a lot of people today in our country and around the world that are filled with fear. They're filled with anxiety and worry and insomnia and unable to sleep because of things that are happening. Uh, concerned, is it going to happen to me? Is it going to happen to my family? Am I going to have to face this? Well, I don't know what the future holds, but I know who holds the future. And God has put his spirit in us. And I feel the Holy Spirit rising a bit up in me to pray over you today and to come against the spirit of fear, knowing that the Bible says God has not given us a spirit of fear, but instead he's given us a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Yes, there is evil in the world, but the Bible says where sin abounds, grace, God's unmerited favor, abounds even more. The Bible also says that one can put a thousand to flight, but two can put 10,000 to flight. And what does that mean? That means there's power in our prayers. Now, there are some in the world who don't believe in prayer. They're, they're, uh, they're using language about prayer, saying it's, it's worthless, and you and I both know that's not true. Prayer is the key to unlock the throne of God's mercy. I've told people all over the world, much prayer, much power. Little prayer, little power. No prayer, no power. I believe in the power of prayer. Our ministry was built on prayer. My, my family, my, my marriage, my life, this, everything about me is built on prayer. I believe in prayer. I believe in praying and looking to God as the source of my life. And I thank God for an opportunity to pray. And I want to pray over this nation. I want to pray against uh, the satanic forces that come against this nation and come against people. I want to pray over you and over your family. I want you to pray over me and my family because when we pray together, there is an inextricable tie that comes between us. Now, the word inextricable means uh, something is tied together and you can't get out of it. 
It's like when, uh, when Lindsay and I got married 42 years ago. Lindsay and I are inextricably tied together. We're not coming apart <laughs> because we made a commitment. Okay? 42 years. That word inextricable, and it, it's a powerful, powerful word. And when I pray for you and you pray for me, we become prayer partners. And we, we feel something different. And right now, perhaps never, perhaps more than ever before, is a time to pray. You pick up the newspaper, you, you go online, you turn on the television, and you see what's happened, what's been happening in our country. You, you see everything that's out there. And I mean, you really can see everything that's out there. The news media now doesn't leave anything to your imagination. The news media is almost X-rated now. I mean, it, you just see everything. And it's so easy to think, wow, it, the, the whole world's going to hell in a handbasket. Well, we can do something about that through our prayers. I believe in prayer, and I believe in the miracle power of God. I believe that God can hold us together. And I believe that when Satan comes at us, we can resist him, and we can command him to take his hands off of our, our families, off of our children, off of our, our, our jobs, off of our ministries, off of our businesses, off of our minds, off of our bodies. I believe that we can, we can say to the devil, you take your filthy, dirty, rotten, stinking hands off of my life. And I'm praying over you today. But first, I want to pray over this nation. Father, you are the one who established the United States of America. And I realize that the United States was formed by a group of men and women who believed in God and some who didn't believe in God. But nevertheless... They were doing God's work in founding this nation. And I pray, just like medical doctors, some who know the Lord and love the Lord and some who wouldn't know the Lord if they met him coming down the road, and yet they're doing God's work in trying to get you well. <laughs> praise God for doctors and praise God for those who founded this nation. And I pray over the United States of America, our nation, the nation which I was born in. I was born right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I pray over this nation. I do not believe in any shape or form that God has forgotten about America. I don't believe that at all. I don't believe that God has forsaken America. Yes, there is evil in the world, and it's happening all around us. Yes, I understand that there are things that have come against us. I've had so many things in my life, but I am an overcomer, and I refuse to allow the devil to stop me. I am going to pursue, I'm going to, I'm going to do what God has called me to do. And I pray over this nation. I believe with all my heart, better days are on the way in Jesus' name. And I pray over you, my friend. Now, you may be single, you may be married, you may have children and grandchildren, you may have no children, you may have no grandchildren. You may be working, you may be retired, uh, you may have been laid off, you may be looking for a job, you may have some sickness or disease that has struck your body, you may be hurting emotionally, you may be filled with fear or, or worry or anxiety, but whatever it is, I'm setting my faith with you right now in the authority of Jesus' name. And remember, the Bible tells us that God has given Jesus a name which is above every name named in heaven and earth. And at that name, every knee should bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And I pray over you. And listen to this other scripture. The scripture I pray every day. A thousand may fall at my side and 10,000 at my right hand, but it shall not come near my dwelling. That's a scripture that I confess every day of my life. Let me say it again. A thousand may fall at my side and 10,000 at my right hand, but it shall not come near my dwelling. That's my prayer. That's what I pray over my wife, over my children. That's what I pray over this ministry. That's what I pray over our bodies, over our emotions, over our, every, over our everything. And I pray that over you today. And I speak to the devil, devil, you foul, tormenting devil, you take your hands off God's property. And I pray over you right now 
And I want you to be praying over me and my family because when you do and when I do, something inextricable happens between us. There's a tie. There's a binding. We come together in faith to believe God for the miraculous. I not only pray for America, but I pray for you. I pray for God's blessing. And I believe what I heard my father, Earl Roberts, say so many times, something good is going to happen to you. I pray this in faith, and I pray this podcast is a blessing in your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless you. See you next time. Text giving is now available. If you're in the USA, text RRM to 833-881-6442. Now, if you're in Canada, text RRM Canada to 77977. Your generosity makes a difference.